Hey there, this is Anupinder Singh from Superwits Academy. In this video, we will be demonstrating the setup of CloudSim 4.0. CloudSim is a very powerful and extensible cloud simulation tool and it, will, it, it is developed using Java programming language. And there has been four major uh, version releases till date. And during these releases, various new models has been introduced and few models were deprecated. The latest version 4.0 was released in mid 2016 and the source code is published on GitHub page. The link to the GitHub repo is provided on the official project page of uh, cloudburst.org. And just for your convenience, I, I have op already opened this page in, in my browser and this is how it looks like. When you scroll down, you generally see what are the main features and then documentation and then within downloads, you get this uh, release link right so you have github.com slash cloud slab slash cloud sim slash releases and once you click on this you actually go to this particular page where they actually you know give you all the previous version lists right and you can download it from uh, from this particular uh, uh, page so if I talk about CloudSim 4.0, which is the latest version, it has uh, added the implementation of cloud container models and is really unique as a simulation tool for container based cloud. Uh, CloudSim developer team has restructured the project as per the requirement of Maven build tool, which is the, which is the latest uh, uh, build tool for Java based projects and has been supported by Apache. And this results in an easy project setup in Eclipse ID in comparison to what my previous video demonstrated about that that version was 3.0.3. .3. So in this screencast, uh, we will be following the sequence of steps to configure CloudSim 4.0 in Eclipse Java ID and the version of Eclipse that we are using is Oxygen. So let's get started. And there are generally two steps which we uh, follow to configure this 4.0 version in our Eclipse ID. So step one is just to download the latest version uh, uh, from the project page on the Git, uh, GitHub. So if, if I tell you I wanted to download this CloudSim 4.0 and I have these four asset file and from these four asset file, I'm going to download this source code zip, which I've actually downloaded just to save, uh, save our time on the video. But why we are actually going for the source code zip file because we wanted to understand the internal working of cloud sim and specifically container cloud uh, cloud sim version. And we are not going for any of the other these cloud sim hyphen 4.0 zip or tar because they contain the jar files and which are no means to us right now. They are used by pro developers in the later stage once they understand how the project how the cloud sim works from inside and so on. So uh, that's right now out of the scope of this particular video. But we will do uh, do the demo again on that. Once once you download, you have to extract it. So just to save time, as I mentioned, I've already downloaded it and extracted it. So how it looks like after download, it gets you a file cloudsim hyphen cloudsim hyphen 4.0 zip. And once you unzip it, it gets you this folder. So here, if you see at project root, it has three folders. One is distribution, another is documentation and the modules. And there are two other files pom.xml and readme.md uh, readme.md is actually a github file which actually give, uh, you know, uh, have some text for regarding the project and has been displayed on the project page of the github so this can be uh, neglected right now but the main prominence which you have to give is to pom.xml and the modules folder so all the main source code is kept inside modules folder and the project folder is structured like this due to the maven build tool requirement just to bring to your attention uh, on pom.xml file again, which is a specific markup code and will be you know directly used uh, to set up CloudSim in Eclipse ID. It, it, it makes it very easier to set up, uh, set up this project, right? So here, if I say pom, pom stands for uh, project object model and is used by Maven uh, build tool. Uh, to build the project for deployment process, it makes it very much easier for uh, the developers to deploy their project quickly with various uh, you know, phases uh, that has to be you know, uh, followed like test and uh, then documentation and so on. So there are a lot of things are there. So Maven is right now is again 
out of scope in current current context but it it is very important so i suggest you to read about this uh, maven uh, from the link provided in the description uh, just below the video so that is the uh, reference which you can use so uh, let's start with the configuration part we we go and see the details of these folders in the later videos but just just to make it quick so uh, as i mentioned we are going to use java id which is oxygen version which i have downloaded from eclipse.org slash downloads and if, just for a quick reference i have already loaded this page and once you see and go to this uh, link then what you find here is get eclipse oxygen and download 64 bit because my my system is 64 bit there might be a might be you are having 32 bit system then it will display you 32 bit so it automatically uh, detects it so again to save time i have downloaded it and opened it up for you so this is how it looks like it's pretty uh, similar to what the previous versions are now to configure cloud sim in current uh, eclipse workspace click on file menu and then click on import so once you click on import this will open up a import wizard for you from the list find maven and expand the option on press off this arrow which is provided on the left then choose existing maven project once you click on existing maven project it and click click next it will take you to another uh, you know step of this wizard now here what you can do is here you can either click on browse and then you can go to the specific path where you have actually extracted the cloud sim source for, for my case uh, i have extracted it here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this particular link which is c slash cloud sim slash cloud sim hyphen cloud sim hyphen 4.0 i take you back to the eclipse i paste this in root directory option and then i hit hit enter right so once i hit enter uh, this will list the file tree in projects option uh, with all the checkbox checked by default for all the files now right now you can skip the understanding of this particular section the only thing which you need to remember is that these are some of the things which are required by the maven and which is already been pre-configured inside uh, as a plugin uh, in eclipse id right you just simply go and click on finish so this is very simple now the build if you see on the bottom the build is already started and and it is importing the maven project and it's the it's 31 percent right now so how it is happening because eclipse already have a plugin for maven build tools and as we know the cloud sim is also utilizing it therefore every build is performed using the maven and maven will automatically bring all the dependencies for the cloud sim from its repository to make it uh, in a workable stage so how maven knows that which dependencies are to be pulled from repository and how, how it is to be configured so it's not a rocket science so what what uh, maven looks for is it actually looks for the pom.xml file right so that's why i said it's very important it looks for pom.xml file and then you know and uh, it, it sees that what sort of dependencies are being mentioned and which pom.xml file is to be checked if, if you remember we have modules folder right so within modules folder we go to pom.xml file and one it, it opens up a you know, small window and uh, instead of you know going into more options i just take you to this tab pom.xml i'm going to click on this and it open up a markup tag for you when i scroll down you will see a dependencies uh tag and within the dependencies there are four dependencies which are being mentioned and these dependencies are are for junit easy mock easy mock class extension and common hyphen math 3 now these are the all dependencies which are being used by the uh, cloud sim uh, simulation tool now you can check the dependency one once the maven builds everything you can check the dependencies which are being included in cloud sim example under the maven dependencies part and similarly in cloud sim simple uh, folder and within that again maven dependencies so, so you see how these things are being imported so it's almost similar to how you import the jars in the previous versions and things like that so this is kind of automated right now in uh, uh, in this uh, 4.0 because it is using maven build uh, tool for all the setup and uh, 
now if you see on the bottom the build is already been done so let's check it out and we check two examples here uh, one is the simple example and another is the container example so i just go to uh, cloud sim examples then source I, uh, slash main slash java and then i go inside the package org dot cloud dot cloud sim dot examples and then example one right cloud cloud sim example one so if you are totally new totally beginner to this cloud sim then uh, to run this example what you have to do is you have to go on run menu on the top and then you uh, choose the first option run or you, if if you are a little bit pro in eclipse you can simply go and press control plus f11 together otherwise there is a shortcut in toolbar uh, of eclipse and you can just simply press this button and your output will be generated for the code so if the output is there so that means the configuration of your cloud sim tool is quite accurate so it's, it's working so that means uh, all all the build has bit happened successfully now let's take another example so i go to the second uh, name uh, package namespace that is org dot cloud bus dot cloud sim dot examples dot containers and within that i'm going to open containers cloud sim example one i again just go and press this shortcut run button and if the output is there without any error that means everything is working fine if there is anything in red that means there is there is certain problem which is uh, which is there in the uh, setup or build process of uh, the eclipse so this is the way how you can set up or configure the cloud sim uh, 4.0 in eclipse and uh, you are uh, good to go for your you know, research experiments uh, within this simulation tool. So I hope uh, this video will make the setup of CloudSim 4.0 easier for you. And uh, uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if, if you have any kind of feedback for us, do share in comment section. We are working on few more videos in the series. And to keep uh, posted about the latest video uploads do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you very much for your time goodbye